So, is everybody here? Class is going to start in the bed. Where's Sam? Okay. Okay, there we go. Um, are you ready? Are you excited for Chinese 102? Because, um, oh my god. The blackboard is a bit dirty. Someone's supposed to clean it very properly. But it's okay. We'll just keep moving. Okay, better get ready. You know, with your notebooks. You can just sit back and relax. It's okay, just as long as, as, long as you, you remember to take notes, okay? It's very important because sometimes your memory just won't function. So, I am Lin, your Chinese teacher, Mandarin, Mandarin, Chinese 102, you know. The second class, we're pretty much going to go through some of the more like communication of phrases because recently, actually last week, I went to um, travel, I went travel to Turkey. You know that country, right? I enjoyed myself so much over there. You know, did some group work with other teachers and did some traveling. But before I go there, I didn't know that I really need to learn some communicational, communicational like important phrases. So that's why for this class, I am very much inspired to teach you some very very important communicational phrases that you're going to be using like on a daily basis or they're going to be so important if you're traveling to China or other countries that might speak Chinese like as in one of their languages yeah but um today Let's start from, well, we've learned Ni Hao Ni Hao Not Ni Hao, but you have to pronounce it very accurately It would actually be Ni Hao Ni Hao You're saying it very correctly What's your name? It's a really lovely name Do you have a Chinese name? What's that? Not yet? Huh. Um, let's name you Xiao Guai. How about that? Guai means very kind and very nice. That makes you really, sounds like a really, really nice student trying to learn Chinese. Xiao Guai or Guai Guai. Um, continuing, I'll name each one of you after this class, so don't worry, okay? Okay, let's learn something new, Xiao Guai. And, um, so, we've also learned Xie Xie, that's very nice, Xie Xie, Xie Xie, that's actually Xie Xie, not Xie Xie, but Xie Xie. Ming 
字，名字。What's your name？ 你的名字是什么？你的名字是什么？你的名字是什么？你的名字是什么？名字，名字 is very hard to write. I know it's so hard to write Chinese characters. I got it. Don't worry. Try to remember the pronunciation. 名字，名字，你的名字是什么 ？What's your name? So you just simply answer by saying, 我叫。I am called. Of course, you can say, "My name is blah blah blah," but you can also say it in a more casual, oral, simpler way by saying, "I call." I call. I am called. This is I. This is called. I call. Might be really weird, you know, comparing with the Eng- English phrase structures. But you know, I am caught. I call da da da. You know. This is I. This is call. 我叫，我叫，哒哒哒 So normally, you know, Chinese people they have a name made of three characters. That's the most common. Where they might have names with like two characters, just like my name, and sometimes they have a name made of four characters. But that's, I think, the most characters I've ever seen. So, but that, I mean, some pe- people might have six or seven characters based on their ethnicities, you know. But normally it's like that. What? Yeah. 叫我，我，我 ，try to pronounce， 我，我，我，我，我，我。That means I. 叫 is more like call. I'm called. I'm called. 叫，叫，叫。叫，叫，叫，叫，叫。That's very nice. And I just named you Xiao Mei. That's right, Xiao. No, your name is Xiao Guai. Xiao Mei means like the little pretty, but Xiao Guai means like the little kind. You know, the little nice person. 我叫小乖。我叫小小乖，我叫小乖。So your name is 小乖 You should you should just answer by saying 我叫小乖，我叫小乖。我叫小乖。That's very nice. So normally, if you're having a conversation with other people, they might ask you, "Okay, you're in China right now." They might ask you. They might be so curious about like where you're from. Normally, they would just ask you, 你来自哪里？你来自哪里？ Or they will just ask you. 你你来自哪儿 ？That means where are you from? Where do you come from? 你来自哪里？你来自哪儿 ？Or they will just ask you, 你是哪里人？你是哪里人 ？Or in Beijing, we would say, 你是哪儿的人？你是哪儿的人？你是哪儿的人？你哪儿来的？你是哪儿的人？
in our life we would just add a little bit of her to like a lot of words you know because we're from Beijing you know so you will simply answer by saying wash so if you're from the United States of America you can say wash or you can, if you're from Europe, you can say Or if you're from the UK Or if you're from Singapore, you can say So normally it just depends on, you know, the name of your country You just have to fill it in here so we have students from all over the world here in our class So, where are you from? Yeah, I'm so glad you can pronounce the name of your country in Chinese And you just say 我是人 That would be really nice, that's really nice oh, That's just really nice Okay, so that would be 我是 人我是 am This one is person or people Miss person or people I am the person of this country That's how we would express that Or you can say 我来自 of China and this one is I come from China 我来自中国我来自中国 It's very very nice I think you just need to do some research of the name of your country in Chinese in, on Google and you just fill it in 我是人 the name of your country okay, that's very easy okay make sure I keep following through my class because we're going to have a little quiz at the end of this class not going to be so, so scary okay, but you have to like try to focus okay so for section 2 we're gonna go through like if you're traveling of course you're going to ask for the price or you're going to say how, how many things you want right so we're going to learn from one to five how do you say it in Chinese so for one how do we say it in Chinese okay we'll write it like this e and it pronounces like e e e e with the the first accent the first accent e e e and we write it very simple like this e and two is even more simple simpler we just write down two sticks and it will be R R R R R R That's very nice R and we have 
three sticks for three. Sun. 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 Just three sticks. Two sticks, one stick. The four is a little bit different. I don't write like this. It would be S. 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 And then we write five like this. It would be O. 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 So now you know how to say the most basic, the first five numbers in Chinese. E, R, San, Si, Wu. So E is like the first accent. E, we say E, we don't say E, or E, or E, we don't say it like that. We only say E, E. E, very nice, and two is R, 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 R. It's like the fourth accent. Very nice, and three, we say. Right, you got it right, Xiaoguai. I think you're doing it very smoothly. Did you do some like pre-work before class? That's very nice. Always getting prepared for each class, you know. So that would be sun. You got it right. Sun. 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 And this one would be si. Si. This is the first accent. This is the. This is the first accent. This is the fourth. You don't say s or s or s. You just say s. S. Make sure your pronunciation goes all the way to the back of your mouth. Okay? S. S. That's very nice. And u. U. That would be the third accent. U. 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 It goes like for. It's kind of hard. I don't know if it's hard for you, but this is the third accent. Third. Ooh, make sure you have that. Ooh, make sure you have that. That turn. Like ooh, ooh. Very nice. Sounds like singing, right? It's very hard. But as long as you can say ooh, that will be okay. You don't have to say. Ooh, you just have to say ooh. Even if you say ooh, I can understand that, but it's just not that accurate. But I'm very demanding, you know. So let's try to say them again. E, 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 r, 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 san, san, s. S, S, and this one is O. Okay. So, if you're going to ask for a price like how much is this one, you just say "zhege duo shao qian." You just simply ask. This means. This means this. So, means this, right? And means how much. This, how much? Or you can say how much. How much? How much? Duo Shao Chen. 
and the shop owner might just say They might just add the number, so 5 Kuaiqian means RMB bucks Like 5 dollars Wu Kuaiqian This is just for the money How you would count the money and you just add the number here So Yi Kuaiqian Liang Kuaiqian San Kuaiqian Si Kuaiqian Wu Kuaiqian Notice how this one sounds different when we're saying money. We actually use the word yeah. so that pronounces like liang. We don't say er kuaiqian, but we normally would say liang kuaiqian. You got it? It's just when you're Counting things like one, two, three, four, you say yi er sense. But when you're trying to put it into use, you will normally say liang kuai So you would just say this, you don't say er kuai but you would say liang kuai qian. Yi kuai qian, liang kuai qian, san kuai qian, si kuai qian, wu kuai qian. That's how you would count, but there, of course, there are more numbers, we're not going to go through them one by one, but I think by the end of the semester you're going to learn how to count like I think before 1000 smoothly it's going to be very easy, trust me it's like easier than French because the French way of counting just got me confused sometimes okay, so how much this how much? This And other people would just say Or when you want to say how much I want a certain thing You would just say That means you want two of them So if you say, if you want one Maybe you want this lip gloss right here You're really into this gloss And ju you just say to the shop owner Yiga Yao yiga Yao means want Wo yao yiga I want one So we don't only say one but we also add Like a counting word At the end I know it's a little bit complicated But we do We don't say 我要一 But we say 我要一个 Adding 个 to the end of The sentence that means The counting of that thing It's a little bit hard But just try to pronounce it more often Just practice, you get used to it If you want three, you can say 我要三个 if you want four, you can say 我要四个 If you want five, you can say 我要五个 我要一个, 我要两个, 我要三个, 我要四个, 我要五个 Not so hard, right? So this pretty much gets you through the basic shopping conversations But when you're communicating with other people it's always important, you know, when you're traveling, it's always important to talk a little bit more and give feedbacks by complimenting the other people or just, you know, spread that kind of energy Your name is Xiao Gui, right? So you gotta spread that kindness And let's just move on to the section 3 for the third part, we're going to learn how to like compliment the other person I listed like a few things you can say If you're at a restaurant, you might say this thing is really tasty It's really delicious, how do you say it?
You can see delicious exclamation point. How true, delicious, tasty, very good. How true this means. This means good. This means eat. So good to eat. So it's very tasty. How true. How. That's very good. So the owner of the restaurant will be very happy. The waiter will be very happy. And if you want to say to a girl that she's so beautiful, how do you say that? Just say to the girl, you are so pretty. 你真漂亮。你 means you. 真 means really. Very. 你真漂亮。You are really pretty. 你真漂亮。小乖,你真漂亮。You are so pretty. 你真漂亮。你真漂亮。你真漂亮。你真漂亮。and if you're going to compliment a boy, you just say 你真帥, you're really handsome, you're really cute 你真帥, 你真帥 mm. That boy over there, are you Tom, right? Yes, you're Tom, you're late for the class But 你真帥, you're really cute, you're really handsome 你真帥,帥,帥 For girls, we say 漂亮 And for guys, we say 帥,帥,帥 好吃,好吃 That's for the food 好吃,好吃,好吃 Okay um, But just in case just in case someone is harassing you Not just traveling, if you meet someone very unpleasant and you know You have to always protect yourself, right? What do you say to express your angriness? Yes, in English you would probably say fuck off But in Chinese you would say This is just the word for fuck off. Of course, you can say guntan, but that would just sound a little bit more like cursing, more dirtier. But this one is also no better because you already telling the person to fuck off. So um, you just simply say. Gun. This is not gun, okay? Looks like gun, but it's gun. 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 Tell the, the other person to just. Gun. You know, I'm just sticking my fi middle finger there. Gun. Gun. That's just always useful. You know, if you want to, you want other people to show respect. And sometimes they don't do so and you feel bothered It's always useful Only one word Very loud and clear Gun 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 Not gun 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 Okay Let me just So I just um, wrote down all the pinyin, the pronunciation word, letters for all the Chinese characters So this first one is hao chi If you don't read this, it's okay, you can just read pinyin, okay? 
好吃 That would be the opinion for 好吃 OK 好吃好吃漂亮漂亮漂亮你真漂亮 You're so pretty That's for the girls 你真帅 You're really cute You're really handsome 你真帅 And for fuck off we have 滚滚滚滚滚滚 But this is pretty much the end for today's class. So for today's class, we've learned how to introduce ourselves. I am called. 我叫 Adding your name, adding your 名字我的名字是我叫我的名字是 and 我是什么什么人？我是不拉不拉人。Adding the name of your country or 我来自哒哒哒哒哒。I am from. I come from. 我来自。And if you want to say this, you will say 这个。And 这个多少钱？ How much is this? 五块钱，四块钱，三块钱，两块钱，一块钱。That means four, five, four, three, two, one. You know, bucks, dollars. And if you want one, you will say 我要一个 Don't forget that 个 at the end of the sentence. 我要两个，我要三个，我要四个，我要。That's right. And if you want to compliment the food, you will say 好吃 and 漂亮 pretty, 帅 handsome, cute. And this one is for self protection. 滚滚滚滚滚滚 It's very nice. And this is pretty much. Everything for today's class, Mandarin 102. I hope you all are like remembering some things. And it's time for the quiz. You have five minutes to prepare. You ready, 小乖？